You need to be in the habit of looking for clues in exam questions for GCSE physics and GCSE science generally. This question tells us a stone reaches constant velocity. Now, no place in your textbook will you find a question on stones falling through water, um, but in this question, you do have all the knowledge to be able to answer it if you just keep an eye on this phrase here. So a stone enters water, shows you its velocity is going downwards, then it says it reaches a constant velocity. So initially, what we've got to talk think about is, what is this, how is the stone moving? And it says it slows to a constant velocity. It doesn't say it's accelerating. So we've got to think about what are the force is acting on this stone. So on this stone, we've got the force of its weight going downwards. And upwards, we've got not air resistance, because in the air, uh, we just call it drag, basically. So because the stone is slowing down, that tells us another thing about the forces. So initially, when it hits the water, you're going to have drag is a little bit bigger than weight. I know the arrows look kind of similar there, but this one should be bigger than this one. So that's our first mark there, is that drag has to be greater than weight. Now initially, if you are able to determine that, we can figure out there's going to be a, basically a resultant force. So if I subtract these forces, there's going to be an overall force in the upwards direction. So therefore we'd say there's a resultant force acts. And you need to mention the direction. Um, this is in the upwards uh, direction, or acts upwards. Once we know that, then we can figure out, well, as basically um, that means the velocity is going to decrease as this happens. So drag or air resistance is proportional to velocity. The faster you go, the higher the drag. So as the velocity increases, the drag also decreases. So velocity that goes down, uh, the drag it experiences also decreases. And therefore, because it's constant velocity, we know the forces have to be equal at the end. So after a period of time, you'll have the drag will be a bit lower. The weight hasn't changed, um, but now they are the same size as each other. So you'd say eventually, um, eventually, I can't spell, eventually drag is going to be equal to uh, weight. Um, so it's a constant velocity.